Hey, hello everyone, here we are for another video on GTA. So, let's begin. What the fuck am I hearing? Oh my god. Anyways, so we just got the message, now I need to go there, okay. Can go here. To the shrink. I'm right next to my house. Hmm. I'm okay with that. Wait, the other point saved. Oh. Uh waypoint. Okay. Good. Nice. Amanda, too soon to bring up the tennis, I assume. Uh, not getting in there. <laughs> oh yeah, because uh, yeah, we kind of did something to the tennis coach, but oof. But well, deserved. Fucking bastard. And he could actually consider himself lucky to get out alive. But well, we are just guy. We just ruined someone else's house instead. Ah. Can I? Carefully. Beautiful. There you go. One kilometer away so we can hear that useless guy. Just curious if he's gonna actually admit what he did to the other guy's house. That's his problem. I wasn't even on his way. Oh man. Yesterday, first day of working. It feels good. Being back at it. Oh, excuse me, me first. Yeah, sure. My bad. It's about there. Oh yeah, I saw a red car, so let me guess whose house this is. Carefully. Let's put the camera straight, it's better. Should be good enough like this. That was not what I meant to do. But okay, works. Come in, Michael. Yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Good. Been good. No. <laughs> Fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? Bob Ross. Kind of looks like him. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that I, I can recognize a trigger when I see one. You know, shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge, like my family. My son, <laughs> my daughter, my wife, well, especially my wife. I mean, they just set me right off, Doc. You know, there's been this episode. You know, actually, it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I, I pulled this Mexican's house right off the fucking hill. I mean, I, I think I'm back in it, Doc. I'm back into life. I mean, I gotta make some money, and there's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decision, Michael. Take responsibility. So, any other violent urges, friend? <sighs> I ain't been a good boy, Doc. <laughs> you know, things just all of a sudden get up on top and right fucking on top. And then I lose my shit and I hurt people and then I feel bad about it. I hope the sun is not too loud for you. Remorse is good, but not as good as taking control before you act out. Nope. Everyone makes mistakes. I'm not trying to be perfect. Okay. And what about your sexual behavior? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. 
a single problem. We all have thoughts, my friend. Not acting on them is real progress. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. That sense of my life is crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself. He just pulled someone else's house down. What I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? What are you exactly asking, Doc? <laughs> Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich. I'm miserable. Half the time my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people out for more stuff. I'm pretty average for this town. That's the shot. I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm, I'm sure you are, but that's really all we have time for. Man, I swear if I would pay this guy and he would just tell that to me like this, next time. just because he's shitting himself. Useless fucking idiot. Uh, yes, auto save. So, what else? Hmm, there was a point about here. Not anymore. There is one here. There is this thing. Lester. There is. The house. Now let's go to Leicester. You know what? It's gonna be a nice little ride. Tuk -tuk. Why do I have a point for Franklin? Huh. Interesting. Isn't the green oh supposed to be just Franklin? God damn it. Trying to It's the same as looking at the phone and driving at the same time. Or is it uh one minute again? So we call him and get this right? Okay. I'm gonna have the feeling that none of the people that I'm gonna be calling are actually gonna pick up. So, uh, yeah, tough life. Talk about tough life. 7k only. It's not much we can do. I'll just take care of missions. Why did he break like that, moron? Anyways, we're almost there. The feeling that he's in a shitty place. Blow off the door, cash truck. Ooh. I don't have anything to blow the car, actually, so yeah, it's gonna be for the next time, but it's this white green one. So let's just go. Uh, there. Excuse me. Another point. Show up on the map. It's really. I don't know how did they do that. Just like. 
Is it if you get close to some zones or... It's interesting. And the game is from 2013. We're waiting already. So many years for the next one to come. And yet this one is really good. Just curious about how the other ones got run out. Used to play a bit of San Andreas and Vice City when I was a kid, but never really followed the story. And this one's story is actually more developed, better. Okay, there it is. Oh, shit. Up it's this one. By the way, what's the point of this? Can a car even fit through here? Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. Jesus. Nope. I was wondering when you'd show up. Yeah. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something. So why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. We're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Since you put it like that. Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit, phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by right. outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get... That white collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45 year old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism, and brother, it is gonna fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. <laughs> okay. So, lying in politics. We never saw that. I'd offer you something, but you were just leaving. Uh, yeah, now you tell me that. Okay, two kilometers away. Let's go. Mm -hmm. So, we are not a web designer. That's something new that we never thought, right? Just kidding. So it's a classic infiltrate for something else and just blow it from the inside kind of mission should be the bubble oh. twice really okay so on the left 
people get so mad at you. It's funny. There are times where I kinda want to do this IRL. Oof, perfect. IRL. But of course I don't. As if it wasn't obvious enough. Moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Mm -hmm. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Huh? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? I guess that's suitable. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Bye. Dignity aside, that might just work. Just let me buy some more. Oh, Cap. Cap could look good. No? Okay. I'll go fuck myself another way. <clears throat> no, wait. Okay. It's the way to do it. Michael, I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Okay, as... That little path... Bad, you bait me, okay? For my defense. Hello. So, yeah, we are just gonna walk in like normal... Per like a normal person. That should work. Okay, I think it's about there. Okay. Life Invader Office. Perfect. I'm gonna park right here in front. Oh, there is some parking. Lol. Let's park nicely at least. Hey. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we're max. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on using a full new price update a year later. Oh, you know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it, you Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke breaks about up, so... Wait a minute, do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I T temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So we have our perfect pass to go in. Hmm. How oh, fitting. They have a yoga zone. What the fuck is that? Did, this wouldn't be a problem. 
Come on. Got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. I. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know my. Yeah, definitely not safe for you to be there. I'll close the pop-ups. See what I can do. Here's some codes. Start them early, bro. What is that? Is is she pregnant or? There you go. How about I run the antivirus software? And we scan. There it goes. Might be why I get all these migraines. Seriously, it, it might be why. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Mm hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to work at all. What about the bag? Okay, they're definitely not giving the right image. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's say that way. Uh, where's the exit? Oh, that works. Thank you then. Where is my car? That's my house. Ah. Oh. Okay. Gonna borrow this for a second, just You can't find it next to my house. Oh shit, that goes fast. The things in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry, the phone is rigged. You know, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now the breaks are terrible. Heroes, romantic comedies and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life and a two-hour yeah. plot. Whoa, okay, I'm never gonna pick this one up again. Sure, just bring the thing, come on.
Oh my god. They are so fucking childish. <laughs> Is it Lester? Ah oh, no, Jane Norris. Should be good enough, but I'm gonna wait a bit. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> okay. As if he wasn't already waiting for that. Well, that worked. Perfectly. <sighs> Need to be faster on this. And yes, let's go to the bedroom to change this shit. <laughs> Les, that was heavy. You watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. Uh, Something blew up there. Uh, maybe I'll take a look. <clears throat> Talk me about that. I know that if... You go there. Alpha something. No idea where that is. Never really understood that. If anyone does, just tell me in the comments. Change of clothes. Hmm. Uh Okay, no glasses. Yeah. Suit. Looks good enough. Not gonna waste too much time on that. I am terrible at choosing clothes anyway, so <clears throat> Yeah, stare at the wall, by the way. Hmm. Things are available now. Jesus, that's empty. Take a hit from Jimmy's bong? No, thank you. <laughs> Man, those guys. Well, we cannot tell it's not funny at least. So let's get on the bike and see Franklin for the next episode. Normal time, I would actually be fine with the music, but YouTube. Oh, that's a fast one. I'm gonna so gonna die on top of this but might be funny let's go there I didn't even took the first turn and I already almost died twice it's gonna be fun no not you just the sidewalk In between. Let's go. Wee. Don't touch me. Oh, you don't have to 
call to tell me that. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'll help you. Oh, now you want me. All right, I'm coming. The one phone call rule is for real policemen. You worthless turd. After I'll see Franklin. Go to Amanda. Oh, come on. I just left the house and I need to come back right again. Well, at least she does. And that's a positive point. You know, we're kinda close to the house. And that's the house, okay. Yeah, you see the bike there? That's my husband. Let's go. So, guys, that's all for now. We we'll see each other for the next one. Until then, consider leaving a comment, a like on the video if you like it, or dislike it if you didn't. But never forget about this. Stay the way you are. You're amazing. And see you guys.